Today, I have the holy grail of Polaroid cameras. This is the holy grail. I don't know any other way I can say this. But it is called the SX-70 Land Camera. It's the folding compact land camera. And don't get me wrong, but this is really cool. One of the things about this camera, it was introduced in 1972 or 1971 by the Polaroid Land Camera Company. And it was really cool because it is a folding single lens reflex camera. Now, one of the things is Polaroid always, now this isn't what it looked like when it came new. I put this vinyl on here, make it look cool. One of the things that they, um, they recommend is you pull upward in one straight motion or else you could ruin some of the things that hold it together and this is a single lens reflex camera it's called the SX-70 land camera right here you have your focusing wheel right here is your light and dark you look through the viewfinder you can see that I don't know if you can see that actually you can see my ear and this one's really advanced for its time. You hold the button down and it would shoot out the picture right here. Now I happen to just come back from the camera store. Bought this for five bucks from my camera store. Some impossible film. I bought a, a, quite a bit of it. And I'm gonna load it up, show you how to load it. But one of the things you could get with your SX-70 Polaroid was the flash. I have an original SX-70 flash, not the impossible mint flash. You could get things like this. Uh, you had a tripod mount because your some of these SX-70s don't have tripod holes on the bottom. You could get a zoom close-in lounge, you could get a remote shutter button, you could get a Polaroid close-up lens and diffuser, a holder. I even have the flash bar. I also have a bunch of those 10-face flash bars. Now, one of the things about this camera that's really unique is not that it's only a Polaroid, is that this camera, all the engineering that had to go into this to make it what it is, is absolutely incredible. I believe it's by Charles and Ray Eames. They made a video back in the 70s for the introduction of the Polaroid SX-70. Now, that video is one of those videos that you should really see. I mean, if you're a Polaroid person, hence you're probably watching this, you should really check out, which I will link in the, uh, I'll, I'll try and link it right here or in the comments right underneath where I'm pointing. But I'm gonna load film into this camera and uh yeah so when you load film into the camera so the camera has a little yellow notch right here it shows yellow it opens the film door you can pull the old film out and it would go in in the same way as you would this is the uh late 70s 77 78 is when they made this one this one is what the 600 cameras are the, what the 600 cameras are based upon and like the instagram logo and all that but um it would load up in an, one single motion you would put the film into the front close it and it would shoot out the first piece now, I'm gonna do that with this film. So, I'm gonna open it up. Need a knife. Blank keys. I don't think that'll work. There we go. Now, I know impossible film can get pricey. I mean, it's eight exposures for usually 24, 25 dollars. And it's not cheap. It's it's pricey. It really is. When you open it up, you're going to get this silver. It tells you the on the back of usually impossible films what it's compatible with. Here's the front. So on when you first open it up, you're going to have a silver film to keep all the light and exposure out. Because it has to be in complete darkness. 
And what I'm gonna do is just pull back that silver film. I've seen people just rip apart the, the casings. And here we are. Uh, usually you have the instruction booklet in here. And yeah, it just tells you uh, cameras it's compatible with and what it's not. So, color instant film for classic Polaroid cameras. It tells you what happens if you overexpose it and what happens, how to get it better. Which, I've been shooting Polaroid a while, so I don't really need this. I love the front of this thing. It says, don't shake it like a Polaroid. Like, on, on this. Not what I was expecting. And uh, I have a prime example of not shaking it like a Polaroid. And that's me standing up at a horse show. Now, here's the thing. Look very carefully. You see the line? right there going across that's where the film and the developer messed up right about there and it was because whoever took the picture of me was doing this and shaking it like a polaroid and it's not an old polaroid it's new film chemistry so they screwed up my picture but thus i have a unique one of a lifetime picture that only i have which i like but what i'm gonna do is not shake it like a Polaroid. I hated the song, so yeah. And um, I'm gonna insert the new film in. So, what I'm gonna do is pull the old cartridge out and put the new cartridge in. The new cartridge should just slide right into the front. There we go. Now when I close it, the first sheet should be ejected. There we go. And then I'm ready to take my pictures. So that's how you load a, uh, an SX-70. And uh, remember, don't shake it like a Polaroid. I'm going to uh, probably post how to take pictures with SX-70s because some of the ones online are not very descriptive. But I'll probably show some. So I'm glad I could show my new SX-70. And yeah so remember to not shake it like a Polaroid and remember to have fun with it and always choose your own perspective when you take a picture no I'm joking always just keep your own perspective when you take a picture because when you don't it doesn't look cool well it might but yeah don't quote me on that well Glad I could show that. Have a good one.